so I guess I'm just gonna get some juice and then read a book for a while. And my fifty billion dollar plan. I gotta work on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, I must have read 280 books so far this year. I should probably read more. This is what I'm drinking. Ocean spray. And pomegranate. I'm gonna drink this. <laughs> That's so funny. Why do you sound like a lesbian, Andrew? Because I can be. <laughs> I mean, the sound part. Wow, that tastes like mustard. That's gross. I don't think I actually, I mean, I actually do know if I showed this or not. It's rather, rather something. So that's what I'm reading. And... I'm gonna go out to the lake tomorrow and just spend my day reading and hopefully we can fix that quad issue and if if it can that's great. That's neat. Oh, great. Oh, it just shows some college history of different universities and different studies of different people moving to different generations of Oh. You'd probably have to do a bunch of math classes, which I'm hoping to do, so. That's great if I know correct algorithms and class notes to specific enough of instructions. Hopefully I can go through with it and find there. <laughs> Pine there. That's all I gotta do, Andrew, is find there. There. They are. There's. If I say there's, it sounds like I have an apostrophe, which meaning commonly that it is uncommon to the events of these places that is supposed to be of object to some some places or either neither what's this district of people is interviewing or what is actually supposed to be their place of institution 
because if you interview one person, you might get a whole lot of people agreeing with something that is popular. So you never know. <laughs> this juice is, tastes like berries. <laughs> Andrew. I was blind, but now I see. <laughs> oh. Oh, at the beginning, more things in heaven and earth. That sounds interesting. Oh. Hey, I just said that. But it was, it had something to do with the eclipse or ellipse of it. Because, like, I mean... If you're thinking the destination are most current things that you're trying to specify in a universe, like, I mean, there's just so much to see, and I'm surprised that, like, satellites even get a picture of galaxies beyond us, but, like, I mean, who's actually reality here of this? most abstract thing that other people make and I mean to make you believe in such things I don't know you can believe it or not I don't really care but you can if you wanted to but who would find out the radius of some algorithm or something that is trying to describe something undescribable I don't know Expeditions to the top of the peak in August 1715. <laughs> he was less interested in the air than the volcanic activity. That's kind of interesting how they picture an idea of what you're supposed to actually find research on. And then other events are happening while you're away, while well, you can't control it anyways, because it's volcanic activity. At this moment, I guess this was specific to it, but it just wasn't. Because, I mean, what could one person do to... There's a lot of other events happening, though. Especially if people are dumb or smart or just don't know enough to actually evacuate to what you're doing. Like, I mean, if a word was a device, you could, um, I don't know, there's a lot to say about a device in what you're trying to speak of necessarily, not necessarily, but... Who knows? That's always there. <laughs>